Today I'm going to take you on a brief walkthrough of our newly released CX module. CX is an incredibly powerful little tool that's not only for use with the patch series, but also in other applications such as live sound and other studio uses. Let's take a look at it. So what is CX? Consider CX to be a line level adjuster slash booster or preamp that allows you to integrate any type of analog signal with the patch series. So why would you want CX? Let's say you're trying to route a different type of analog signal through the patch series from a microphone or instrument and you're not getting the desired results you want. You can now use CX to boost that signal up to line level and be able to route the most cleanest sonically transparent signal through the patch series using CX. Looking at the front panel here, we have eight XLR TRS combo jacks. This allows you to quickly and easily integrate any of your favorite microphones or instruments directly into CX. Next to each one of the inputs, you'll notice a small blue LED. This indicates whether you have 48 volt phantom power enabled or not on a specific channel. Now let's take a look at the rear panel of our CX hardware. We have our USB connection for host control with optional threaded locking USB connector. Then we have our DB25 in a standard Tascam wiring format for the outputs of the CX, followed by our threaded locking connector for our power source, and then our rocker switch for the power. As you can see from the CX hardware, it's a very compact design. We made it like this because we want it to be more user-friendly and be able to fit into different types of applications and environments. However, if you want to rack mount it, the rack gears are included and they're sold with it in the box. So we have two software applications to be able to use CX. We have the CX menus built into both Patch App and Patch App DX, which allows you to use it with the patch series, but we also have CX standalone. Why would you need CX Standalone? Well, CX Standalone allows you to use the CX module outside of the patch series hardware. You can use this for cases like live sound or other studio applications when you need to have a sonically transparent preamp boosting signals. It's all digitally controlled and it all gets retained inside the CX hardware. Now let's take a look at the software that controls the CX hardware. First, we'll take a look at the Patch App CX menu and then we'll look at CX Standalone, which are two different applications. Now I'm going to show you the CX menu built into Patch App and Patch App DX. For this example, I'm going to be using Patch App DX. The first thing I'll need to do is add my microphones and any other instruments I want routed through my Patch Series hardware. I will add them into the input column of my Hardware Index Setup menu in the Patch App software. To access the CX menu, I'll go to Settings and choose CX Setup. Once opened, you'll see 8 channels of your CX hardware. From left to right, we have our channel indicator number, our patch input selection, followed by our signal type, optional 600 ohm switch, manual gain adjustment, and the chosen gain level. Setting up your CX is very simple. First I'll choose one of the microphones or instruments connected to my patch CX hardware and labeled in the patch apps hardware setup menu. I can then go through and select each input or to speed up the process, I can simply choose the first input and hold down shift and click to pre-populate all the remaining seven inputs below the first selection. Once I've chosen my inputs, I'll proceed to choose a signal type. You'll notice when I select any signal type, it'll preset a gain level for that specific input based on the type of microphone or instrument. I'll continue to set the rest of the signal types for the remaining inputs. Even though we have preset signal levels for specific connections, you can of course fine tune these to the perfect gain level for your microphone or instruments by using the knob or typing in your desired level. We also added a 600 ohm switch, so you can use CX with older pro audio equipment that supports 600 ohms only if you require it. Your CX hardware is identified in the top tab by its serial number, but you can rename your CX in case you are using more than one CX hardware unit and need to identify which CX is supporting which tracking room in your studio. And yes, of course, you can use multiple CXs in your setup. There are two ways to confirm your CX is powered on and communicating with the Patch App software. You can open the Hardware Details menu by clicking on the Host Signal Indicator, or you can simply refer to the dot next to the CX tab, green indicating powered on, gray indicating powered off. Now that CX is set up, let's make a routing. 
You'll now use your patch app software just as you normally would in the past, but any connections with a lower output will be set up to the perfect optimal level for routing through the patch series hardware. Additionally, when using 48 volt phantom power, CX will now supply the phantom power to your connected microphone instead of it being supplied by your patch hardware. You can now audition multiple microphones preamps for your tracking sessions using the CX and patch series together. If you're looking to use CX in your studio or live setup in standalone mode as a dedicated preamp and not within the patch app software, you'll need to go to settings, user preferences, and choose ignore CX connections. This will now allow the CX standalone app to communicate with the CX hardware and bypass any setup or controls in your patch app software. Now let's take a look at our CX standalone app. CX Standalone allows you to use the CX as a dedicated clean booster or preamp outside of the patch app software. This additional app makes CX much more versatile for other studio and live sound applications. You'll see the appearance of the CX Standalone app is very similar to the CX setup menu in the patch app software. The two noticeable differences is there's an input field for labeling your connections to your CX hardware and the 48 volt switch per input. First off, I'm going to label all the input connections that I have to my CX hardware in the hardware input field. Then I'm going to proceed to choose a signal type. Same as the CX setup menu in the patch app software, you'll see a preset gain level populate. I'll continue to select all the remaining signal types for my CX inputs. Now I'm going to engage 48 volt phantom power for the microphones that require phantom power to operate. Just like the CX setup menu in patch app, I can fine tune and adjust the gain levels for CX by turning the knob or inputting a specific gain level. CX Standalone also supports the 600 ohm switch, so you can use CX with older audio equipment that requires 600 ohms only. You can customize the name of your CX hardware in the CX tab in case you're using multiple CXs with your setup. In the settings menu, you'll see some other options. About will confirm the latest software version of your CX standalone app. Hardware details will display important information about your CX hardware, including serial number, firmware, and status. Software and firmware update links to our website. Application size, always on top. And factory reset, which will restore your CX standalone app and hardware back to the factory default setting, deleting all of your information. You'll see by this example, this is how you would set up and connect your CX hardware to work with the patch series hardware and patch app software. In this second example, it looks similar, but you can use the CX standalone app and control CX outside of the patch app software and use it for other studio and live sound applications. So that's a brief walkthrough of our newly released CX module. We can't wait to see what you guys will do with it. And as always, thank you for choosing Flock Audio.